begin by stating your name and saying where we are right now. Uh, my name is Joseph Bowman. Uh, we are in Topanga, California. Great. And can you say something that you're passionate about? Um, I would have to say that I'm passionate about my work. I think that uh, maybe a little bit ego driven, but I think that uh, work largely defines who people are. I think that uh, my work is really important to me. You know, I think. Um, yeah, I think I think it kind of defines who I am, and I think uh, what's really important to me, like why I'm passionate about, it, is I, you know, because it's so important to me. It's like I want to be the best, uh, you know, the best at what I do. Um, Which is what I do is I, I'm a camera operator by trade, but I operate um, basically pieces of equipment that uh, I don't know how to say it. In other words, they're called jib arms and steady cams in the television and the film industry. And basically, they make cameras move. Uh, they. Uh, there's several different pieces of inventory that we have that, you know, are body harness systems that are carried, you know, that, that, that move um, cameras on the end of big sticks that are operated remotely from the, from the back side of the, uh, the stick that the camera is mounted on with servo-driven motors and control the camera that way. But, um, you know, and I say I want to be the best at what it is that I do. Not necessarily, um, I guess it's, it's, it's in part, um, there's a financial aspect to it, but I think that... Uh, I want to be the best at, at, at using these pieces of equipment to do something that's creative and unique and like, you know, just makes what it is that I'm doing much more dynamic and more interesting to the viewer. Definitely. And can you talk about or give some examples of places where you work? Or uh, I work on award shows. I work on the Grammys. Or, no, it's not true. I've never worked on the Grammys. I work, uh, I have worked on the Oscars. I haven't in several years. But this year, for example, I've done uh, the Miss Universe pageant. Um, I will be working on the primetime Emmys. I did the daytime Emmys. I'll work on the American Music Awards. I did the Country Music Awards in Las Vegas. Um, and sporting events, you said. Right? Oh, I, I uh, <laughs> annually, I think probably the last 12 or 13 years ago, last 12 or 13 years in a row, I've worked on the Super Bowl. I've uh, been to a plethora of, of Super Bowl events. Um, and I work around Los Angeles a lot. There's a lot of, uh, last week I worked on a, uh, a pilot for Queen Latifah, which has not yet you know, been picked up as a show. Um, I spoke with you earlier, we worked on a show called The Shark Tank. Uh, there's a lot of episodic television, which is more or less is, is my bread and butter, to be frank, or uh, to be honest about it. Uh, the award shows are fun, you know, the sporting events are fun, um, but they're not nearly irregular enough to, to do all the time. Definitely, and can you talk about an influential event that got you into this industry? I don't have an influential event. Um, I got into this industry by mistake. I mean, I was uh, I, I went to school as an engineer, only to uh, decide by my fifth year of engineering school I didn't want to be an engineer the rest of my life. Um, had followed my footsteps, my footsteps, my father's footsteps. Um, you know, happened to be relatively good in math and science, <coughs> and it just seemed like the right direction. And. Um, a friend of mine, uh, actually probably my best friend to date, who was the best man at my wedding, uh, was working on a children's show. He was fresh out of USC film school, and uh, I was the guy that picked up donuts in the morning. I uh, picked up donuts and I worked on the set pieces. <coughs> I would bring sets to, or uh, chairs to the set if you know it was necessary or you know whatever was needed. And uh, I had an understanding for all the cameras because I was fresh out of engineering school, so they were fascinating to me because I knew how they all worked but I'd never worked on one. I'd never actually had the opportunity to stand behind it and play around with it and figure out how it, you know, it zoomed and focused and, and educate myself with, you know, how the lenses all worked. And electronically I understood exactly how and why they worked, but I'd never been able to, to generate the, the controller and move them around myself. Definitely. And so can you talk about um, a character strength in yourself that you think has carried you through um, your, your business, this industry? This mm, character strength. Uh, I think probably uh, tenaciousness. Um, I like to say that I go through it with dignity and <laughs> that I'm genuine and authentic all the time, but uh, it's kind of a dog eat dog world out there in the television and film industry. Um, it's not an issue or it's not important to squash your competition, but it's, it's important and I think you need to be tenacious uh, to be successful in it. Definitely. And my last question is, if you have a piece of advice that you'd want to share with others, maybe something that somebody's told you that really resonated with you. Well, I think it's going to sound almost cliche-like, but uh, you know, everybody always hears that uh, you have to find something that you love to do. If you don't love to do it, you'll never be good at it because you won't have the tenacity to want to continue to do it. Yeah. You won't have the drive. Okay. Yeah.
Well, thank you. You're welcome. That's oh. great.